Hi, this is Steve Alberts, your Coletta Air Alpha Communications Committee Chair. One of our top MEC priorities is making sure our fellow pilots know the ins and outs of Alpha and how the association works for you. So this is our first video on the topic, and today we are covering several of our pilot volunteer-run MEC committees. Let's begin with our safety committee, which includes at least one representative for each fleet and an aeromedical representative. Our safety committee's chair and vice chair also assist with ASAPs and event logs and can answer your general safety questions. And this is really important. The team also has several volunteers on call in the event of a safety incident, in addition to a GO team ready to deploy in the event of a serious accident. Now, the CKS Security Committee commonly deals with KCM and hotel-related security issues, as well as any airport or aircraft-related security concerns. So contact them if you are interested in volunteering. When it comes to making sure our concerns and needs are addressed by congressional laws, our Legislative Affairs Committee is on the job, if not actually on Capitol Hill. They're our MEC's connection to ALPA's pilot partisan political wing. These volunteers add our pilot group's voice to the national efforts of the ALPA Political Action Committee and also relay to the pilot group any new or pending legislation that may affect our industry. The Jump Seat Committee provides the most up-to-date information on policies, best practices, and individual airline procedures for non-revenue jump seat listing. Our jump seat volunteers also assist in updating and publishing the most current reciprocal jump seat list and Coletta Air's internal listing procedures. Current military members can count on the Veterans Affairs Committee when it comes to leave and related matters. The committee provides guidance from the USERA to ensure military members' rights, protecting their ability to be re-employed when they finish their military service. The Scheduling Committee is another crucial resource. You can count on them for guidance navigating contract section 17, scheduling, 18, hours of service, and 25, reserve. These volunteers work with crew resources to ensure monthly bids and the award process both follow the contract. Reach out to them with any scheduling questions or conflicts. Turn to professional standards to address issues that come up in the workplace in an amicable and non-punitive fashion. These volunteers serve as the intermediaries between the two parties to allow conflicts and situations to be resolved internally. Tasked with securing and maintaining the highest quality lodging possible, the Hotel Committee works to safeguard the best quality rest for our pilots. Their goal is to ensure that a layover is something the pilots can look forward to, not just a place to sleep. Our newest committee, the Travel Committee, provides contractual and regulatory guidance to crew members. Look to this team if or when you have any problems arranging travel, not only during deadheads, but also resident airport travel. These guys also give the company input in an effort to save time and money during crew member movement. Last but certainly not least is my team, the Communications Committee, which is your source for news from our MEC and other ALPA committees via email and textcaster. We also provide the pilot group's video presentations in addition to managing our MEC website and social media. That includes our YouTube channel. And you'll want to stay on our list for upcoming Pilot Unity events. And if you have any questions or feedback, you can reach us at ckscommunications at alpa.org. I'm Steve Alberts. Thanks for watching.